Hello Cancer, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Cancer, this is your reading for the month of July and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Cancer, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment on below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person cancer. Okay. As far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, or you will be dealing with. Let's get started now. So we have Hanged Man for you, King of Swords, and Nine of uh, Wands. For your person, we have World, then we have Eight of Cups, and we have Seven of Cups. You may be dealing with Leo, Pisces, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Number 9 is of some importance. Number 8 is of some importance. This is your spread cancer. You may be seeing a lot of 888, 999. So, Cancer, some changes are about to happen. Some important changes are actually waiting to happen. But you are coming across in a very defensive energy. You are unsure about these changes. And you don't know whether you should welcome those changes or not. But the suggestion is they, those changes are very positive. What these changes can be can be related to? I believe someone is trying to convince you something, but you are quite reluctant. You are avoidant of listening to that accepting to that opinion okay sometimes you know what sometimes we have a perspective that is developed in our mind and shifting away moving away from that thought process moving away from that fixated perspective uh, becomes uh, difficult for us but the suggestion over here is to move away take a different perspective the suggestion is listen to what others are trying to tell you maybe there will be some sort of an enlightenment but you're coming across as a bit defensive maybe you're not so you're not welcoming opinion from others you probably are quite fixated on certain thought process or certain things that you have built up for yourself okay i mean certain things the ideas that you have built up for yourself any kind of deviation from that idea, any kind of deviation from thought process makes you a bit uncomfortable. But the advice over here is, okay, if you do not want to act upon the suggestions, at least listen to what other people are trying to say. Okay, it's so no one is holding you at a gunpoint to implement whatever they are saying, but at least give them, a, give them your ear. Okay, at least listen to them. Uh, because what I see is whatever they are trying to suggest with will at the end of the day will help you a lot. If there is no one who is trying to suggest but then there is a different thought process that is nudging you. If your intuition, if your inner voice is sort of telling you, okay, listen to this opinion as well. Listen to this perspective as well. Try and take this perspective as well. But you are a bit adamant on, on certain things and you are not ready to change, move away from your thought process, then it's time for you to listen to your intuition. It's time for you to listen to your inner voice who is asking you to take a different perspective, who is asking you to accept a certain change. Okay? I'm also getting cancer that... Uh, Yeah. 
you are being heavily protected you are heavily heavily protected right now okay do you need that protection no you are very much capable but you are an asset to humanity or you are a special child in the eyes of the universe you are a talented soul and you are a capable soul so that is why your ancestors the universe and the spiritual world is trying to take special care of you universe is trying to protect you okay with the nine of wands i also see that you listen you want to do something different maybe you are someone who have grown up in a patriarchal setup in your family okay and your family expects you to do certain things and you at the moment you literally want to show middle finger to your family but out of respect you are not showing that but at the same time you really want to do what makes you happy and that may come across as but unconventional in the eyes of your family in the eyes of your of the society for some of you maybe you want to come out regarding your sexuality maybe for some of you it's not different okay it's not different you guys are of course not different everyone is the same everyone has their choice i mean everyone has a right to their choice but in the eyes of the society still certain societies are not accepting about it uh, it may be a thought process it may be you want to start a new business which is quite unconventional uh, say for example your family is running a business related to food industry but you want to start a business related to absolutely something else maybe you want to get into fashion and designing and your family is like we have a business we have an empire and you should be running that empire now okay but you are like no i don't want to do that so that's what i see over here whatever you're trying to do cancer it is going to be a bit revolutionary okay I'm also sensing that someone is watching you someone is interested in you but you are coming across as like mm, don't try to come close to me else you'll have to deal with my sword okay so that's that's the energy that is coming across right now and people are interested in you but they are holding back because they are a bit scared of you okay uh as far as your person is concerned we have the world we have 8 of cups and we have 7 of cups so this person has recently ended a relationship with someone they have walked away from someone this person may have ended a ended a marriage okay uh this person they are single right now and they do have a lot of options looks like this person is charming they are they are good looking person uh they are awakened person okay they don't they don't rush into making choices they take their own time they listen to themselves they listen to their mind and their inner voice and then they take actions so it's good for you um a cancer that someone who is awakened and someone who is self aware is about to enter in your life okay uh, whatever the relationship that they have ended it was a long term relationship i'm hearing 5 to 6 years at least uh for some of them they have walked away from a marriage you may meet this person during travel is what i'm getting this person they do not stay wherever you are right now they stay in a different place different city okay and you guys are going to meet uh either when you are traveling to their place or they are traveling to your place or both of you are traveling to one common place that is how you are going to meet but i see travel is is of critical importance over here okay or you may even meet this person near a water body like you may meet this person on the beach near a river in a swimming pool taking a dip in a pool or in a or in a private party yeah in a private party where there is a lot of booze a lot of drinks a lot of dance nice 
So I hope this resonates and hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. The link for the extender is in the description box and comment section. We'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Alright, take care of yourself and have a great time ahead.